Chatsian UI is different from most component libraries because it is not a component library. Instead of pulling some components from NPM, you generate components that live in your own code base. Check it out. I'll generate a component with npx chatcn at latest add. And here I'm going to create a button component. All right, so you can see that it's created a button component in components UI button.tsx. And if we look at it, we can see we have multiple button variants like default, destructive, outline, or different sizes as well. All right, so let's try to use these buttons. So here I will go button and I'll import it from the file we've just looked at. And we're going to let Copilot do the work of working out the different variants. I think that's enough. So we have the default, destructive, outline, secondary, ghost. And the reason Copilot knows about it is because of the type signature that is baked in the button component. So let's keep that one to ghost. And here are our beautiful Shadzi and UI buttons. Pretty cool. And from that point, the button component is yours. It's up to you to maintain it and customize it as you see fit. So if you wanted to add a variant to the button, instead of opening a pull request to add and suggest this variant to the library, you would just go ahead and modify the code to whatever you need that makes sense for you. So here in my button.tsx file, let's say I wanted to add a variant called party. So let's go after the last one here and I would add party and we'll go with BG gradient to top right from pink 600 via purple 600 and maybe to cyan eh, 500. And let's make sure the text is white as well. And now check this out after the ghost button here, if I go button variant and I look at the options, you can see that the party option is an option. So let's go take a look. And here it is, a new custom party variant. Now let's make it a real party. And by the way, you shouldn't do this. It's probably terrible user experience, but let's add the animate bounce utility class as well as rotate six. And now a button is truly in party mode. 